Hello everyone and welcome to Journey with the Kellers. My name is Amanda Keller and today we are back in the Keller kitchen. So today we are going to be making something from the complete Irish pub cookbook. Today's recipe is beef and barley broth. Now it calls this a broth but it's kind of like a soup to me so. Okay so we are going to need a rather big pan to boil all this stuff in. And the first thing that you are gonna do is put about one and a half pounds of chuck steak in your pan, which I have already done, it's already in here. I will tell you this is more than one and a half pounds because I couldn't even find one as small as one and a half pounds. So we're just gonna cook it all in there, okay? All right, so then you're going to need one third of a cup of pearl barley. Okay, and if you're kind of wondering what pearl barley looks like, it kind of looks like Quaker Oats. Wow, that is a loud airplane, hello. Okay, so we got some pearl barley in there. You're also gonna need one third of a cup of um, green split peas. The only thing that you really need to prep for this part is you do need one uh, onion sliced up, this is a, one large onion, um, and it says thickly sliced, okay? Which I do have right here. And I did actually slice it into quarters as well. I did it just leave it round. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. Okay, then the other thing that you are going to need is a half a teaspoon of black peppercorns, which I forgot my peppercorns. All right, so a half a teaspoon of black peppercorns. There we go. All right, so what you're gonna do now is you are going to cover this in water. So it says to uh, b -b 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 pour in enough cold water just to cover. So let me go to the sink and get this covered up. turn this on. Oops, I got some onions that are trying to escape you guys. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and turn this on. And what you're going to do is you are going to bring this to a boil. While it's while it's coming to a boil, you're going to skim off any foam. So you're just going to take like a spoon or something and just skim over the top. And I've got a little bowl here that I can put it in to get rid of it. So skim off any foam that comes up. Once it is boiling, you're going to reduce the heat. Um, down to a low, you're gonna cover it and you're gonna simmer it for one and a half hours, okay? While you're letting that simmer, you are going to need for the next step, three carrots that are halved lengthwise and sliced. So you're gonna need to do that. You're also gonna need three fourths of a cup of diced rutabaga or turnip. So whichever one you wanna do. You're gonna need uh, one small leek with some of the green tops included. Um, thinly sliced um, and then you're going to need one celery stalk sliced. The other thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need six floury potatoes such as like a russet or a round or a white rounder or Yukon Golds and those you just need to peel. Those are going to get cooked in a separate pan as well so don't chop them up or anything okay. All right so um, once you get all of that done, then you're just going to wait for this to be done um, boiling and then I will come back and we will add the next ingredients and I'll tell you where we go from there. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, you guys. So our meat and onions and all of that has been boiling now for about an hour and a half. So what you're going to do first before you get into adding stuff to here is you're going to take your six peeled potatoes and you're going to put them in a saucepan or I'm using kind of like a fry pan that's also a saucepan. Um, and you're just going to turn them, oops, wrong thing. You're just gonna turn them on and then um, bring them to a boil, okay? You're going to boil them for about, it says you only need to cook them for seven to 10 minutes until they're tender, but not disintegrating. Um, I don't know if that's gonna work. Um, you do add salt to it once it starts boiling, or no, you add salt to it now, I'm sorry. Okay, let me get some salt added to this. So you're gonna put some salt in there. 
You're going to uh, bring it to a boil. You're going to cover it. Oh, I am just out of order today. Okay, so put your six peeled potatoes in there, cover them in water, put some salt in there to taste, turn them on to heat, bring them to a boil, and then you're supposed to boil them for a seven to 10 minutes until they're tender, but not disintegrating, okay? So once they are tender, you can drain them. And then it says, return them to the a pan and cover them with a clean dishcloth. I'm just gonna cover them with the lid to the pan, okay? So that's what to do with the potatoes. And then we will use them when we go to serve the soup. Not, it doesn't, they don't go in the actual soup pan, okay? All right, so now for this, I'll go ahead and lift this up. Give you guys a good look at what it looks like. So here we are, the meat and all of that, okay? All right, so what you're gonna do now is you are just gonna add your, uh, so there's uh, three carrots halved lengthwise and then chopped up. So we're gonna add those in. Okay, you're also gonna add in uh, three-fourths of a cup of chopped rutabaga or uh, turnip, whichever one. I have rutabaga, so I'm going to put that in there. Then you're also going to add in one small leek um, that has some of the green tops included. You're going to chop that up. That should be thin. Well, you should thinly slice it is what it says. Okay. And then also one uh, celery stalk sliced up. So I'm going to get all of this in here. Pretty sure I'm going to add more water. Okay. Try to get it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to add more water. It's not enough water. Okay, so I will add more water to make sure that all of this is covered. Okay, you're gonna go ahead, once you get all of that in there, you are going to uh, cover it again, um, season it, well, season it with some salt and pepper first, or just some salt. Wow, I am just salt and pepper, salt and blah, blah. Okay, so season it with some salt. I'm gonna add more water to it, then I'm gonna cover it and I am gonna let it cook for another 30 minutes, okay? Once that is up, and I'm just gonna tell you guys how to do this, because I think you can do this on your own. While it is cooking for the 30 minutes, go ahead and slice up some green cabbage. You need one and a half cups, so I already have mine done. Once the 30 minutes is up, you can go ahead, remove the meat from the pan. Um, either use like some, uh, like two forks to pick it up or use like a slotted spoon or spatula to get under there. And you're gonna cut that up into cubes and then put it back in your pan, okay? And then add your green cabbage that you chopped up or that you sliced up. Um, and then you're just gonna cook it for five more minutes once you've done that until the cabbage is just tender. You don't want it to get flimsy or anything like that. You want it just tender, okay? And then you're gonna check your seasonings if you want more salt or anything like that in it, okay? So I will be back once I have done all of that and this is ready and I will show you guys how we serve it and then we'll try it and see how it tastes. So I'll be back in a little bit. Hey you guys, so our soup is all done. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off here. So I chopped up the meat, I added the one and a half cups of green cabbage and this is it done. Also, our my potatoes are done. So I just did them until they're a little bit soft um, and then they've been kind of cooking in here too as they've been sitting here. Okay, so in order to serve this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a bowl and you're gonna put your soup in here. Now mine does have a little bit of extra meat because like I said, I had a little more than a pound and a half of the chuck steak, okay? So you're gonna put some soup in there and then you're gonna go ahead, oops, let's get a little more soup in. There we go, and probably a little more juice. There we go, okay. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take, whew, that's hot. You're gonna take a potato and you're gonna put it right in the middle of the bowl, okay? So this is how it looks, you guys. Can you see that? All that soup, the potato right in the middle, okay? Now, I don't wanna try the potato because we're not quite ready to eat yet. So, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looks, but we, I will try the soup. So let's go ahead, let's see. Try to get a little bit of everything in here. I think I got a little bit of everything. Maybe if I can pick it up. There we go. Okay. It's very hot. I mean, it just got done. So here we go. Mmm. Mmm. 
that's really good you guys and i'm not big on like the whole beef and barley soup thing but ooh, that's delicious ooh. all right you guys so that's it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed it like and subscribe if you like or don't if you don't everyone have a good day enjoy your cooking keep your kitchen messy and we'll see you later bye